Well, Vicky <laughs> has a baby. Yeah. It's me. I'm not anymore. Yeah, right? Especially at your age. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook to have a cow. There was a woman milking a cow. And she said, all I got to say is something about can you, can you do this to a male cow? To a bull? Not if you want to get away with your life. <laughs> <laughs> so, that ended that discussion there, you know. <laughs> well, anyway, welcome back. We're in the book of Revelation, and we're rapidly closing in to the end of the story. Uh, yeah. And I think the story gets better as we get to the end. Yeah. <laughs> away from all the wrath and uh, death and destruction. Uh, but there's still a little ways to go yet. Um, so how about praises? Praise Lord Franny's here, even though she is having car trouble still. Well, I praise God someone, I, you know, this blessings and obedience. Mm -hmm. I got my call back, thank you for praying. The brake light went on. My brake light has never gone on in the car. I said, there's something wrong. So anyway, long story, I went and got brake fluid, and it went off, and then it went back on. So I said, I don't know what to do, Lord, I'm done. So anyway, I called this guy in obedience to the Holy Spirit, who's a me retired mechanic from the army from church, from my old church. He came over, and he looked at it, and he said, well, I think it's your master cylinder. Do you want to put money in the car? I said, well, it's paid for, and they verified they did everything else. And that's what we were going to do. And then he said, you know, I have a car sitting in my driveway somebody gave me. I could give it to you. Oh. He said, do you want the car? I said, sure. I'll fix this and I'll sell it. Well, then the next day I called him and he said, I don't think you should put any more money in the car. Let me fix the other car. So I want to pray if this car is coming, it's coming. <laughs> and then I'll sell this car for parts. Okay. I know a Subaru dealer in, uh, not, uh, What's the parts. other car? I'm sorry? What's the one he wants to give you? 2015 Chrysler. Yeah. Oh. And that'll get you newer anyway. Yeah. Look. North Country's hard on cars. So yeah. that's my price. Someone's going to give me a call, and actually that was a prayer request. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sister Sandy, what do you got to say? Praise God that I went through that surgery with... According to the doctor, everything went well. Good. I don't feel so awesome, but <laughs> it was a long four and a half hours and a long trip home, but God was there with all my friends praying, and family and friends. So thank you, everyone, for prayer. So just got to heal now. It's going to be at least two months of healing. Can't lift anything. <laughs> That's the hard part. I'm so used to mm -hmm. lifting things. Yeah. Yes. Anybody else? Praise, Praise the Lord, the coordinator at the jail thinks something's weird going on because people are asking for Bibles. <laughs> He's going to laugh when I go. I got a whole bag of key change Bibles somebody gave me. Yeah. That, so that's a red flag to me. Never had that happen in 20 some years. All of a sudden, they want like 13 King James. Bibles. I got about 20 of them. That's good. What's going on? <laughs> so that'd be good that you get them there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything else? I praise God for the little guys that were here at church today. And they were yes. excited about it. Yes. We had some kids pray to get saved today. Good. Oh, that's good. nice. Did you bring that little girl? Yeah. M Mindy? Mindy? Yeah. That's her name? Nice. I want to pray for these kids. Amen. They get grounded and stay protected. Yes. And get the help they need. Yes. I got the kids to VBS and they all know the Our Father. Yeah, I can say it back and forth now. <laughs> so my job is almost done with them. But really, the kids, somebody sent me actually a beautiful YouTube thing this morning how God's heart is for the children. Yeah. Now he's weeping for the children, you know. Um, and I let Danica watch it because it was, it was a prophetic meeting and they were just, this woman was just calling out prophetic words on how much God loved the kids and she was like, Grandma, I said, he's talking to you, he's talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. It was good, it was really yeah. good. Amen. Yeah. Other prayer needs?
Now, my daughter gets electric before school starts. Did she get her house? The house is in. The house is she there. They're doing the molding. She has make the connection? Yeah, they, they, they have no poles down there yet. Oh. No gas yet, hooked up. Are they in the country or in the suburb? Or? Yeah, they're in Red Creek. A little but town? But somebody dropped the ball, that's the problem. It's not like they just started this, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's pray about that. Yes. Because uh, they start school on the 5th. So I'm going down and then I'm going to come back. And then she's going to come up on Sunday and get the kids. This coming Sunday? Yeah, because oh. they can't be left in the house without electric. Right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Same thing Crystal's going through. She can't yeah. get moved in for the house. daughter's trying to get a house going. She no electricity, it. too. Expensive. And no plumbing. Yeah. Got the house, but need the other parts. Yeah. <laughs> so let's pray for those things. Who would like to pray tonight? <laughs> Sister <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> I like it when you pray. Let's pray. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we come to you tonight. We thank you and praise you for allowing us to be able to meet together and to study yes. your word. Lord, we have praises tonight with Franny getting her car back and then the prayer to continue that um, you'll guide her and provide her with um, good transportation, Lord, that you'll just be in that. And, and um, we pray and thank you for Sandy's results with her surgery, Lord. I'm glad you, you were there with her all the way through and that you are there with her now through the healing process, Lord. We pray and uh, we just praise your name at the jail ministry. They're asking for Bibles, Lord. Mm -hmm. um, that it just shows us and encourages us that you are there working in that ministry and that you're there with these people that, that need you. And we praise you that these children have come to you and made a commitment and given their life to you, Lord. And I pray that you'll be there in their little lives as they continue to grow. And I pray there are people to guide them and help them as as um, mm -hmm. their, their lives just go on and they can learn more about you and always feel your presence and um, your guidance as they go on in life. And then we pray for daughter, or Fran's daughter um, with the situation with her home, Lord. She needs electric and it needs to be hooked up. It needs to be done soon, Lord. And we know that you are always working in our lives to help all of us. And we're praying for this this family, Lord, that you would work there and provide that electricity in that home, Lord, so that they have a safe and comfortable place to be. And we ask that you be with us tonight. We ask all in the precious name. Amen. 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 Yeah. I want to pause this for a second. Figure out how to do it. Prayer works. Amen. That's why we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I always remember that he's got where two or more are gathered in my name. That's right. Jesus is right. Right. Yep. right here. That's right. That's Amen. Promise. Amen. We don't, uh, we don't have to invite him. We have to welcome him. Yeah. Amen. He's already here. Does that mean i got to behave myself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want the angel to sit next he's to you. He's always watching you, Calvin. <laughs> Hey, I thought about you at the jail, too. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, we were talking about thanking God, and one of the people spoke up and said, uh, I thank God every morning for waking me up. Oh. <laughs> awesome. All right. She yeah. thought, I have a guy at church, I told him, that says that. <laughs> All right, well, last week we heard what happened to the... Uh, Did you turn your TV back on? Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay. We, we uh, I'm just going to make sure it's working. We heard about the Antichrist and the false prophet. Where'd they end up? Lake of Fire. I read it this morning. Right. <laughs> Stuck my headphones upstairs. <laughs> they got thrown in the Lake of Fire. Amen. And let's see, did we finish 19? Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. I think we're on 20. Oh, yeah, we started 20 because the devil four, chapter 20. got cast in the bottomless pit. Yes. And he's there for a thousand years. Yeah. Cool. So we should be on verse 4, I think. That's correct. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So, uh, Brother Rick, how about you start us? Sure. Then I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was given to them. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received the mark on their forehead and on their hand. And they came to life and reigned with Jesus for a thousand years. It's funny because we were talking about there could come a time where you're going to have to uh, give up your life to stay true to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I said my preferred way was the guillotine. <laughs> and and uh, as long as it's not rusty, so you want to shop there, and it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we started talking about that. Somebody else, they want to be hung. You know? <laughs> but yeah. it sounds like it's going to be the guilty, and it says beheaded. Yeah, well. So it sounds like that's going to be, be in sword. use. Sword. Or a sword. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been married for 25 years. It's a slow death. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny you say that, Calvin. Uh -oh. because somebody told me that you were driving her crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's teamwork. <laughs> uh, uh, what else do we see in that paragraph? Uh, the testimony. Why were they being well, beheaded? It says that they were not they had not worshipped the beast okay. or his image. And had not received the mark on the forehead. So why are they being beheaded? Because they, 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 they would not do that. Because they wouldn't worship the beast. So it's it says he saw the souls <coughs> the souls of those. So those were the martyrs. Mm -hmm. See the beast is gonna come there's gonna come a time when the beast is gonna say You've got to worship me mm -hmm. or my image, right. or I'm going to kill you. Right. And you got to take my mark, or I'm going to kill you. Here that they did not. Right. So they the ones who it. didn't, the ones who refused to worship, okay. the oh, beast. He saw the souls of those who were. Yes. Cloud of witnesses. <laughs> right. The cloud of witnesses. So it seems like they're speaking to a very specific group in that in that statement right there, because it's yep. specifically talking about. <clears throat> the souls of the martyrs who did not, during the time of tribulation, worship the beast or take his mark. Can I read my note? Sure. Those who sit on the thrones are probably the overcomers from all the churches of all time, possibly including the Old Testament saints, see Ezekiel, Ephesians, Hebrews. Those who lived, came to life after Christ's return are said to be those faithful to him who died during the tribulation. John does not mention the resurrection of the church saints who have died, for this occurred when Christ removed his church from the earth and took it to heaven, the rapture. So I have a prayer that I pray. My, when I first moved here, I had an elder. I don't know if anybody knew Jerry Leake. He was a wonderful mm -hmm. man, yeah. Don, him and, yeah. him and his uh, wife, Jean. Mm -hmm. He always used to pray for us to be overcomers. I remember at the time I was in a difficult marriage and he always, Franny, I'm just going to pray that you're going to be an overcomer. And whenever I get stressed out, like I've been past week with the car and the kids, Lord, help me to overcome. Amen. And you know what? As soon as you give it, you overcome. Yeah. And he says, we will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Mm. So, um, I don't know if anybody's seen that movie um, about the kids being sold. You need to see it. I'm so sad and hesitant to see it. But yeah. it's a voice. Yeah. He took a stand. And it's going on here. Yeah, so we need to I believe it. This is what the thing this is what the C D was this is what the YouTube was about this morning. Our kids aren't for sale. Yeah. And even if they're not being taken, they're being taken by what you say about the state. Oh, it's okay for you to be a girl or a guy. Yeah. I've had this discussion yeah. for two months. And I keep saying if you're not sure. Look below. That's who you are. And I know that's a little harsh, but the older one is really giving me a hard time. That's why I should pray for. And I keep saying that thing. You're not sure? Look below. That's who you are. Because my house is different than their house. But it's my house. You know? But this is how the enemy's coming in. He wants the next generation. 
you know? The Bible's full of a lot of advice, not advice, but instructions on how to be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. We just uh, finished a book that yes. had a lot to do with that. You know, overcome evil mm -hmm. with good. Yes. You know, lots of different things. But yeah, you're right, we're, we're called to be overcomers. Mm -hmm. And step one is we don't quit. That's right. No matter how dark it gets and how bad it gets, mm -hmm. can't quit. Um, but Jesus promised to really do the overcoming through us mm -hmm. if we don't quit. So we don't have to feel like, I got to win the victory. Yes. Not really. Jesus has already won the victory. Yeah. I just got to stay where he can win it through me. Mm -hmm. I think that's where it's always good to say, Jesus, I give it to you. Yes. yes. It's in your hands. I've done all I can do. It is now yours. Right. And it kind of lifts the weight off your shoulders because you know you've, you've reached your point. Mm -hmm. And it's now, his, his word says that he will not give us more than we can handle. Yes, his yoke is easy, his burden is light. That's what happened the other day with the call. I just got it back, and I was, so I sat down, and I started praying, Lord, what do you want me to do? And then he gave me this guy Ben's number. Mm -hmm. I called him, he was right there, he called me back, he came. We, you know, we invited him to dinner after, and we talked about the call, he's a believer. I didn't know he had a car in his driveway, but God did. <laughs> had my name on it, you know? <laughs> I just obeyed, you know? Yeah. It is, it's strange sometimes how the puzzle pieces yeah. just kind of fall just right obey the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so this, what about the last part? They lived and reigned with Christ. How long? Thousand, thousand years. Thousand years. years. There's that same thousand years. The devil's cast into the bottomless pit for a thousand years. Christ <laughs> has come back. It says on a white horse. He's, and he's brought the saints with him. And now they're going to reign for a thousand years mm -hmm. on this earth. But but that's talking about the ones that were killed during the tribulation, right? Is that what this? It does specifically about? say that. Yeah, that's what it right. seems like. Yeah. Yeah. And it might only because be that. in the next verse, even dead. Yeah. Um, verse but five says the rest of the dead did not come to until a thousand years were completed. This I'm confused. I guess. Yeah, this is one of the most controversial chapters in the Bible <laughs> because there's so many ideas out there. Yeah. Well, so it's the first resurrection. Right. So there's two resurrections. Yes. But only the saved are in the first. So all the ones who died before are in this first resurrection. Everybody is. Will everybody be reigning on thrones? Maybe not. Maybe just the ones that are beheaded are actually sitting on the thrones. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But somebody's going to be reigning with Christ uh, during this thousand year period. And all the ones who have died before that are saved are going to be with them. Because we don't want to be waiting around for the second resurrection. Yeah, right. That's bad. We're going to see that in just a minute. So did you have any notes, Rebecca? I know your Bible has a lot. <clears throat> it's, it's a little confusing, but it says kind of what you said. Those who sit on the thrones and have authority to, to judge are God's people. Um, the resurrection of martyrs before Christ's earthly reign is called the first resurrection. Since first resurre resurrection implies a second resurrection will follow, some interpreters take the first resurrection to be spiritual only. Um, for example, being born again. In order to maintain the concept of a general bodily resurrection at the end of time, the fifth be beatitude, blessed of the book, recognizes the holiness of those in the first resurrection. On the second death, premillennialists pre follow the natural order of this passage, taking the thousand years as occurring after the second coming of Christ. However, others believe it as a flashback, a recapitulation of the time before the second advent, viewing it from a different perspective. Among those who take the recapitulation approach, <laughs> amillennialists believe the reign of Christ is being accomplished spiritually even now through the church. Yeah. So this view takes the past. Amen. Yeah. That's are really all about spiritual uh, symbols, symbolism. Mm -hmm. There's there's all these different views. So you can I'll tell you my you view. can see them all. You guys can <laughs> accept it or throw it out. But the way I see it is this is literal. 
there's going to be a thousand year reign and Jesus is bringing the saints that have gone before back with him and we who are saved are going to reign with him for that thousand years now this scripture here is specifically mentioning those beheaded for the witness of Christ maybe because they're the ones that are going to be on the actual thrones or it could also be because God wants us to know that these people who died didn't die in vain. They're being specifically mentioned by God uh, and, that, and they're going to be there. The second resurrection we're going to read about is when we all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And I think at that time, the ones who are not saved are going to be cast into the lake of fire. And the ones who are saved are going to be getting their rewards. Their reward. Yeah. That's why I think they're there. Why everybody's there at that time. Yeah. So when Christ <coughs> returns to earth, he was following that for the thousand years. Um, there will be people who are still alive on earth at the time that Christ has returned. Yes. And those are the ones who are saved. Because it says when he came back, all those armies of the world that were coming against him, he wiped them out with a sort of his, his uh, how does it say it? Oh, he spoke it. Right? The, yeah, by speaking, the sword of his mouth. Yeah, yeah. So all these that came against them, they're, they're killed. So who's left? The ones who got saved during the tribulation. And the Amish. And what? <laughs> the Amish. <laughs> they, got, they, got, they got tons of kids. <laughs> the Amish. <laughs> And they live close if to God. Saved, yes. yes, they do. And they live close to God. <laughs> uh, so that's where they get the idea of two different bodies. Have you read the uh, Left Behind series? You gotta be careful because that's a lot of fiction mm -hmm. with some truth. But in that book, which makes sense to me, that the people coming back have a glorified body because they were in heaven mm -hmm. and they come back. And the people that were still here have human bodies. If they're in heaven, why would they want to come back? <laughs> well, Jesus to be with Jesus. Jesus. They're, well, yeah, they're what right. if all the bad stuff on the earth right now was gone? Yeah. yeah. And it was his chance to start over type idea. I'm, like I'm talking about the Jesus. people that followed him, not him, but the people yeah. that were... Would... Well, they're, they're pretty much <laughs> saying heaven on earth now. Jesus is bringing heaven with him and all the people. And now it's coming to earth. He's going to have a thousand years that we're still going to be here. And then at the end of that period, there'll be a new earth and a new heaven. And, during and then God comes. thousand years, there's still people that, that hadn't come to him still have that chance to come to Yes, him. During, during that thousand years. Still free, it sounds like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there'll probably be some people that'll be lost again. Uh, we know there will. Because at the end of the story, God comes back and destroys the people that t turn against him. But I'm getting ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I want to spoil the ending. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep going. Uh, number five. Uh, Calvin, you want to read five? Sure. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. Now, who's the rest of the dead? It's people that were dead. The ones who took the, the sign of the devil. They will not come back. Right away. Until the thousand years is up. Oh, and then they do? Anybody. Yeah, it says the rest of the dead no. live not again until okay. the thousand years are finished. Mm -hmm. So that's everybody that has died that didn't go to heaven. People Which that are in the hell. Who took the mark to, mark of the beast. People that took the mark of the beast. The people that just got killed when Jesus came back. Why would they come back though after the well, thousand years? We're going to read about it. It doesn't make sense. We haven't got there yet. <laughs> were you going to say something later? No. You just said that you're going to read about it, so I was going to say why. Yeah. Okay, Calvin, number six. This is the first uh, resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. The second death has no power over them. 
But they will pre but they will priests. They'll be priests. Be priests of God and a, and Christ will reign with them for a thousand years. Did you ever hear anything about that? About the kings and priests? No. Never? <laughs> priests of God? Were you sleeping today? <laughs> the pastor preached on that today. Oh yeah, well, so I did take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> about kings and, and priests. And, uh, so, priest of God, it says. It, we yeah. are a royal priesthood. It says it in yeah. Peter. I yeah, think. actually, we are now. Yes. Yes. We are considered priests of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we're. Same thing as saints of God. Yeah. Yes. Oh. We're supposed to be witnesses. Yeah, we're supposed to be help God. leading people to Christ. Chosen generation, royal priesthood. We're supposed to be doing the ministry of a priest here, not the Catholic priests, mm -hmm. yeah. God's no. priests. Hmm. And kings, that tells us our, our sonship, really. We, we should not never feel that we're worthless or we're just another person. No, oh, we're, we're a child of the king. He thinks of us as kings. He's made us priests. We have everything ahead of us. All the bad is behind us. And there's still some bad around us. But someday all that's going to be gone too. We're, we are of all people most blessed. But we don't experience a lot of it because we don't take it and we don't know about it and we don't live it. Mm. Yeah. So if you ever feel that you're not worth something or you're not as good as that person or any of that stuff, that's not from God. That's the devil. That's religion. Yeah, false religion. That's what religion does to you. False and even, even in some, um, <laughs> true have religion. to be real, even in some churches, you know, um, I find it's religion. They want you to fit in their pigeonhole. You know, they want you to interpret scripture the way they do, you know. And well, that's not the whole thing. Spirit. As true religion yes. and false religion. Yes, true religion to the orphans in the book of James. And remaining unspotted yes. in the world. Yes. So we want true religion. Nothing wrong with religion. It's false religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Um, so the rest of the dead aren't going to live again for a thousand years. But this is the first resurrection. That's the one we got to be in. <laughs> After that, it's too late. So where are the rest of the dead? Where are they waiting? They're, they're in hell. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, because everyone's going to be resurrected eventually. Yeah. You yeah, think they're in hell before you resurrect them? Yeah. You think that people die now? If they're not Christian, they go to hell. Yeah. You do? Wow. Yeah, and they're going to be in front of the judgment seat of Christ where all will be. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I, some reason or other, I thought. Would you prefer purgatory? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's only one hell. <laughs> I thought. I don't know where I get oh, it. Two though. heavens, two heavens, but only one hell. There's not like a limbo kind of thing. No, that's that's a no. Catholic teaching. That's purgatory. What well, were you thinking, Marilyn? I guess I just, I don't know, maybe I just thought like they... Like soul just, sleep? Yeah, something or like sleep that, like they don't another, know. That's another concept. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I just thought Some people they're dead that, and they don't they're... know and then they're going to raise them up and then you're going yeah. to yeah. That's well, what I thought. That's what I was wondering. There is some, maybe one or two verses that might make you think that, yeah. that they're just asleep. Um, they have no sense of anything because there's, there's one verse that says they have no part in the living anymore. Right. Um, but, but there will what, be did, what did Jesus say about the rich man? He said, in hell. He was looking up. He lifted up his eyes and he saw Abraham and mm -hmm. Lazarus. And Lazarus was comforted. He was he aware was in, torment, in mm -hmm. these flames. Yes. Who was in torment? The, the rich, rich man. man. The rich man and Lazarus both died. The yeah. rich man went to hell and Lazarus went to hell. They fell on our life. So... But the dead and then what did Jesus talk about? He kept talking over and over about hell, where there would be gnashing of teeth, and weeping and wailing. It's a terrible place, and that's why he talks about it so much. Fire quenches not. 
But there was a part we read where they will be overseeing their loved ones that they they hadn't like I don't know if they took the mark of the beast or what, but they were overseeing their loved ones being basically pur going to purgatory, going to hell. They were seeing this. Where was that? I don't yeah, remember. Was, there was a part in here that we just read not too long ago. We were talking about the witnesses witness. in heaven seeing good things on okay, earth. That's it. A cloud of witnesses. And that was the, the saints. Okay. We're saying the people that are saved and gone to heaven, we believe can see good things on earth. Good things. They won't see their loved ones going to hell. I don't think so I because it not. says there's no sorrow yeah. in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly would make you sorrowful. See that. Yeah. If, if I was to die today and I wasn't a Christian like I am, but wouldn't I go in front of God and ask for forgiveness? Too late. It'd be too late. We need yeah. to ask now. So we point need it to unto man once to die. Yeah. This is your time. And after that, yeah. yes. yes. While you're alive is your time. Your whole life is your time, whether it's one more day or 80 more years. <laughs> now is the time. Because think of it this way, Calvin. Who would not accept God? In front Jesus, of that point. yeah. In front of his throne. They right? would then, yeah. And if that were the case, then where was the uh, faith? We're saved by grace saved by through faith. faith. That's I, thought, our I thought he was a forgiving God. He is. Yes. Yes. Why are you alive? If you sin, you repent. You ask him to forgive you. But if you die in that sin, you're not going to heaven, pal. I'm late. sorry. There's no sin. There's no sin in heaven. See, God is holy, loving, forgiving. But being holy, he's also just. Yes. And sin demands punishment. And if we don't take the gift to escape the punishment, there's nothing left but the punishment. So if you live and die, and you didn't accept the gift to be free of your punishment, all there's left is punishment. So that's why the ministers go to the hospital bed. Yes. Try to get people saved before yes. they cross. Yes. That's why it says yeah. judge yourself I daily. I didn't realize that till now. You know, don't yes. judge your brother. Judge yourself daily. Prayer, healing. <clears throat> that's why you know, we you should sin. be telling people I about sin. I repent. salvation. I mean... I think we I've been cleaning every day. Because I've been frustrated. You're on your way to hell. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I've been cleaning. That's what I do. No, you know? I think about that. When I get frustrated. But you know, you start talking about it, and they just, well, no, that's not for me. I don't. True. I'm not, I A lot don't of non-believers don't stuff. think they're going to hell I because I did this, I did yes. this, I did this. Yes, it was supposed to be to work. Yeah. Not what Jesus They're did relying for on us. Good no, it's not it's even worse. To me, like Rick's well, brother I don't really believe the Bible. claims he's saved. Well, I don't believe because <laughs> I mean, he went to church no, once and made a commitment. Well, I'm going to tell you something. If you're around him and saw his life and you see what he's like, it's like he's possessed by a thousand demons. Yeah. He's horrible. Yes. Yeah. And he'll he'll claim like he gets mad at us and he says, and you call yourself a Christian. I'm a Christian, you know. And, you're the ones that aren't Christian, not kind of stuff, and, you know. <laughs> he needs to be delivered. Like, that's what happened with my brother. So my brother was not a Christian. He got in name only, like you're saying. Yeah, yeah. you're saying he is. But. And before he yeah. died, he repented. I led him to the Lord. I mean, my brother was arrested for embezzlement. I mean, he had a white-collar job, mm -hmm. lots, of, lots of degrees, you know, I mean, yeah. jets and the whole thing. He was a Christian. I just don't know how you talk to somebody. Got well, right in front of them. there's always going to be people that we're not able to talk to. Yes. Right. Yeah. There, yes. there will be that. But when we pray, we should say, Lord, lead me to the person you want me to witness to. Give me the words and how to witness. Right. And when you yes. see that opportunity, you take advantage of it. Yeah. Right. Yes. There's a lot of things we can do besides talking to them. Talking to them is great. And mm -hmm. I don't think we should yeah. not talk to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's times when talking wouldn't be the right way. I mean, I've got friends, I'm always saying, like, after death, you know, I'm like, oh, I'll talk about, you know, the heaven and, and believing in God and, you know, all that. But, and they listen. But then when you ask them, well, why don't you come to Bible study with me? Mm -hmm. they don't want nah, to. I, don't, yeah. I don't believe in that. Well, you know, a lot of people believe in God. They just don't believe what Jesus did for us. That's right. That's where we got to lead them. Jesus is the only way. To heaven. That's right. right. Through Jesus. Yeah. You know, this lady that I 
took care of for a lot of years, um, Dorothy. So she loved God. But every time I mentioned Jesus, she changed the subject. And God, we love you. You know, and I would say, Jesus is God. You know, yeah, they don't get but that. they just, you know, and and some people you can't, you know, um, they want to argue when you talk with them, mm -hmm. and and it says Christians don't argue with them. Yeah. You just say, I know this is what I believe, and mm -hmm. and pray, you, you know, pray, Lord, open their eyes. Amen. Yeah. You know, that's all you can do. Yes, what I've did, what I've learned is, like my daughter, I love my daughter, but she's got mental health, so I understand. And she's blown up my phone for two weeks. So finally I said, I'll get a call. It's going to be okay. I mean, who are you talking to, Grandma? Oh, I'm talking to Mom again, and they leave. Because she's stressed to the max. She can't handle it, you know? So I'm just trying to stay calm. And my prayer has been for a long time with her. So please hear my heart. God, give me your heart for her. Give me your heart. Because I want to wring a neck sometimes. Like, what are you doing? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But yep. yeah, that's not going to be a good witness. So mm -hmm. to say the least, my house is really clean. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, they say, well, uh-oh, Grandma's upset. She's cleaning. Uh -huh. so I got like, between the car and the kids. And, you know, uh, it's difficult. So yeah. that's the other thing I want to say. Yeah. Besides, we try to witness when we can. Mm -hmm. But the other side of the witness is we can witness without words. Yes, right? by what and we do. When they look at us, mm -hmm. do they see what we're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they see yeah. Christian behavior? Yeah. Or do they just see the same person they are? Yes. And so we have to be a good witness. Yes. I say you got to do both. Yes, and like what you said with your brother. Verbally you know? and physically. Yeah. My brother didn't accept the Lord until he was on his deathbed. And I'm honored that God used me. It mm -hmm. was not easy. Well, I have a hard time because, like, when they start getting into arguing, and you're like trying to rationalize because they're totally unrational, and you're trying to rational, and then you can feel your your temperature rising, and it's like, you know what? I'm not getting anywhere, but got to get the point across because they're not hearing yeah. yet. Well, that's when you pray to God to show somebody else. Yes. Lead yeah. somebody else yes. there. Yeah. Give them the heart for these people. Yes. To witness to them. Maybe they can reach them. Yes, because the Holy Spirit has to lead them. Yeah. It's got to be the whole. We're not God, you know. I swear. I swear. You know. I just got a text from some kids. Some kids, you can put a number. I did. And they cannot swear. I'm telling you, it's that bad. It's like. Yeah. Oh, you, and I'm always saying that you make a nun swear. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think Jesus would hit you over the head. You can't, you can't <laughs> argue with people who. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't. And, aren't and what I remember is God loved me when I was a sinner. Yeah. That's one of my favorite. Like I go into the jails. I pray that Lord, you love me when I help me to love them the way. Like, wait till I see Shane. I'm gonna call him out and say, Hey, what'd you tell my brother Paul? Because I've talked about you and we prayed for you. You know, so I'm excited that you kind of went after me. Not after me, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, then I got all them King James Bibles. That's funny because the Mormon lady gives me Bibles and I have a whole bag of them. Nice. So the point is we need to be witnessing yes. with what we say and what we do. But there is times when you cannot witness verbally yeah. to yes. the, some people that don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. And it, does, it probably does more harm than good if we try Sometimes, to force them. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. I like what you said. Pray that the Lord will send somebody that they would listen to. Yes. Some, our kids uh, a lot of times don't want to listen to the parents, but they will listen to a friend or, or some yeah. other yeah. authority mm -hmm. figure. Mm -hmm. yeah. But well, the, the fact remains, like, we have to witness. I find it hard too that when there's things that I don't uh, that I don't allow, like I'm not a person to go around swearing at every drop of a hat, you know. And when you're around somebody who does this every day. And it's like, I could pick up a, a foul word, they could be standing a mile away from me, and I, for some hear reason, it. I yeah. hear it. And it's like, oh, I hate that particular word. She got and, a good hearing. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's like, how do you stop? I work in my office for an hour. How do you yeah. stop them from doing what, what is cut? You can't control you other people's behavior. That's right. And, and to them, it's not cursing. That's how right. they talk. 
Mm-hmm. And sin in your own home. We, uh, yeah, yeah, that's we, right. We, in we your own home. Brother, uh, we don't have anything to do with them. We, we cut him off with our Facebook and everything because the stuff he does is filled yeah. on Facebook and everything. I don't even know how he can get him on here, but he does. And we're done. Oh. <laughs> just, yeah. just pray for him. Hope yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes, that's Sometimes all you can do. Can't walk yeah. away from that. Well, sometimes yeah, you can't. Yeah. You just have to pray about it. Whoa, Lord, help me. Put your plugs in if you yeah. have to. Give me wisdom. Give me guidance. Yes. Um, and yeah. I've been like stuck in that bag. Can't get out and argue with anybody. <laughs> 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 I just got to listen to it. You better put your plugs in. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord. Just read your Bible very loudly. <laughs> Be the Bible. Be the hands and feet of Jesus. Jesus. Book of Revelation out loud. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I was wondering why that I haven't yeah. gave up on Jean yet. You can't. No, no I can't. I'll never right. give up on I my can't. kid. Like someone said, you're going to give up. I ain't giving up on her. Mm-hmm. I love her. I just have to know That's when right. to shut my phone off. God's given you that. That's you what know? you call a burden. You have to have yeah. boundaries, man. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord can, will give you a burden for certain people. Mm-hmm. And we can pray for yes. that. Just continue to pray. And I think it's yes. a good yes. prayer. Pray, pray. Lord, yeah. give me a burden for the lost. Mm-hmm. Give me... Let my heart hurt for what hurts your heart. Yes. When you do that, you begin to find yourself praying for people that you never used to pray for. Mm-hmm. You, you have empathy for them. Yeah. You can really feel strongly love for that person, even if you don't know them. Mm-hmm. I had to you know, do that for somebody that I uh, arrested. And he used to bless me when I used to pray for him. Sometimes I'd go to the altar and pray for him, and I'd, all of a sudden I'd feel that burden, and I'd get the blessing. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that person acted like he hated me for, for quite a while. And uh, then, so, I, somehow, he, I told a friend of mine about him, and he called him, and they got to be friends. And I was able to go to that guy's house and sit down and have a meal with them and pray with them. Later on, they broke it up. They had it fallen out. And I tried to reach out to that guy many times before. After that, he wouldn't have nothing to do with me. He came into my court about a year ago, and I treated him well, and he thanked me afterwards. When he was all done, he made a point of stopping, thanking me uh, for the way I treated him. So that's called a burden, when, when you, what you have for Gene. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we should pray that, God, give us a burden. Amen. Mm-hmm. And it'll help us be able to pray. Yes, and you'll, be, mm-hmm. you'll have favor with that yeah. person. If yeah. he sends you there, like in the jail, yeah. I have not, like someone, you going to the jail? I said, <laughs> don't bother me. If it wasn't for God's grace and mercy, I wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I remember that. I was a yeah. crazy, tardy girl. You know, I worked in the World Trade Center. I told the kids today, I used to wear suits and high heels. You did? I did. <laughs> 40 years ago, but I did. I don't ever forget where God brought me from. It keeps me in a good place with my father. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, that's what he shows me. I still talk to the first pastor's wife. They're Baptists. We don't discuss doctrinal because we don't agree. But she taught me to memorize the word. I called her this week. Amen. And she has children have mental health. I pray for them. She prays for me. You know, and she just calmed me right down. Because I was like, Ding! hiding in my room. They couldn't find me. Where's Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> she left. <laughs> you know, you know, we need other believers. You know what I mean? Because I was like. Under her bed with her phone. <laughs> yeah. Air full under the bed. <laughs> I have my headphones in my bed. I have no problem trying to listen to the Bible. You got to do what you got to do. That's right. And Dad, Dad was like, Grandma, what are you doing? I said, I'm listening to the book of John. Now listen. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever our circumstances are, yes. we still put God first. That's right. Not convenient sometimes. Yeah, sure. mm-hmm. But we still do it. And God blesses us for it. Mm-hmm. Okay, the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years are finished. This is the first resurrection. That's the one we want to be in. Uh, read six again, Calvin. Uh, where are we here? Six. Uh, blessed and, and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. 
the second death has no power over them. But they will praise, they will priest uh, <laughs> of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. That second death is really referring to the ones who are already dead. They're going to come back to life and then it's like death again when they have judgment. And they're going to go to eternal yeah. death. Right. Because uh, the penalty for sin is death. That's separation from God. That's spiritual and physical. I don't understand why there are not two deaths then. So, so Only now because I'm they, Right them. now they've been, they've been punished <laughs> for not being saved. They're in hell, right. which is terrible. Right. But there's a worse place than hell. And they're about to go there. That's why they're brought back to life to face the judgment. All of us are going to stand in front of that throne. I just don't, you know, I can't comprehend it. It's like, why, why is it just not dead and let it be? You mean stay in hell? Yeah. Because God made it a, a place that was even worse. Then why are you saying there? So the lake of fire is worse than the hell. Yeah. Why didn't he just say, forget hell and just put him in the lake of fire to that? I guess he wanted to put it, wrap all things up at the same time. What difference that's, does it make? It's that's all where bad. the devil is. That's right. God's way. I don't and know And he's why. God. He's God. We can't yeah. question God. Yeah. Yeah. It says in Deuteronomy, secret things belong kind of to him. It sounds to me like kind of a... You just don't want to go there. It, well, it's a witness. <laughs> it's another opportunity for us to think about, do I want to stand before the judgment seat of God and look over there and see somebody that I should have witnessed to mm -hmm. and have them look back at me and say, why didn't you tell me? Yes. You know, that motivates me to, okay, I don't, it's embarrassing to testify, a witness. It's, it's a little embarrassing for me to offer them a track or to say uh, something to them about God. But that motivates me to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you sure wouldn't want that on your shoulders knowing right. that. That's right. So maybe that's yeah. one reason that God has that in there. Yes. Right. Yeah. Now we know. We're called to be witnesses. Uh, it's not all yeah, easy. You know, if, if God would forgive the devil, wouldn't that end everything? Well, I don't know. He's God, we're not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the devil's never asked so, for forgiveness. The devil's not <laughs> pretty sure he's never yeah. Yeah. I'm always yeah. confused by this, too, because, you know, if you see somebody, I'm looking right over here, and I should have witnessed to you, and I'm supposedly never going to have any sorrow over that, right? I'm going to feel guilty and feel bad that I didn't witness to him. So I know yeah. what this is meant to do. It's meant for us on earth to make sure that we get out there and tell everybody that we're in contact. Though, but. but remember when you were reading this? Remember when Jesus said he took paradise captive and he took it, he brought it to heaven? Lazarus went to heaven after Jesus rose. And then Paul said... Uh, something about the people have gone on before, uh, don't have everything that God has for them because he was, didn't want them to get it without us. We're all gonna get it together. So that tells me there must be like a, a preliminary heaven. There must be a part of heaven that they're in, but they're not in all of it yet. They don't get all the blessings. They don't mm -hmm. probably have the- They all get it at the same time. Yes, okay. I think at the end is when we get it. Because we haven't read yet where there's a new heaven and a new earth. That's right. coming. So my home in heaven maybe ha isn't open to me. Welcome to the foyer. You're, yeah, you maybe wanna, it's, maybe you'll be able to go in the sanctuary soon. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. the We're in the waiting room or the, the foyer, the yes. lobby. Yes. The sanctuary is next. But it'll still be streets of gold, right? Yeah, there'll be, yeah. It'll be good. It'll <laughs> still be good. Be so, Maybe we'll before we enter out. that final phase of heaven, mm -hmm. there will be this judgment time, and there will be still might be some sorrow, mm -hmm. you know, some regret. The hardest All of our life is going to be exposed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it says every thought, every word uh, is going to be revealed. Mm -hmm. right. So if we're at that judgment seat, and our whole life is before us, you know, okay. there, we might have some regret. Right. If there's going to be streets of gold, I'm taking a pick of shovel with me. <laughs> Where are you going to spend it? <laughs> You'd have anything to buy. Oh, I am coming back, right? I'm coming back a little Yeah, but we won't need it. Yeah, so you'll, be you'll be in a mansion. So. Yeah. 
<laughs> we won't we'll have, have everything we want then. We well, I just money. figured mine, I'm, I'm going to make it, I'll probably have a lean to, but <laughs> I'm happy to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear well done. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, that's yeah. right. That's I right. wish that. I knew how to approach somebody because it's easier to approach a stranger. It is. It is. It is. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I witnessed to my brother all his life, and then he got in trouble. And we had an argument. I'm being real. We had an argument because I said, you embarrassed the family. Because he got arrested, and it was, and I was his baby sister, but he was my big brother. And we forgave each other. But I think deep down in my heart, I never really forgave him. And then when he got bone cancer, I said, what can I do for you? He says, I need bone marrow. I said, I'll give you bone marrow. So I gave him the bone marrow, but it only, I knew God was testing me. He never needed the bone marrow. I mean, I was approved for it, and blah, blah, blah. Really? And then I knew I really forgave him. But that was a witness to him, and I let him know. That's when he really forgave you? That's when I think I oh, you I, him. I mean, I thought oh, I forgave yeah. him. You know so, what I mean? So he brought you to that place so that. God brought me to that place. Because yeah. I said to Charlie, How can I help you? He said, I need bone marrow. I said, Oh, you can have my bone marrow? So he was like, you'll give me your bone? I said, yeah. So I did. I was tested, yeah. you know, and I was going to have it sent down on Mount Sinai. In the midst of it, because God kept telling me he was going to die. Mm -hmm. I shared that with you. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of it, I said, Lord, you were making sure I forgave him. <laughs> and he never needed it. But he gave a letter of repentance, so don't give up on your brother. Before he died, he wrote a letter to the whole family of repentance for everything right. he did. Nice Lord. And I, he accepted the Lord with me. So we never, we never, wit I never witnessed to him because I was the religious nut in the family. I still am. Yeah, did that? You that's can't do your family. You can't. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just a holy roller. You're just one of those people. Oh yeah. Where's yeah. this coming from? You're, you know, it's like well, my it's daughter tells me I ran it down her throat. The fact that I got got the kids this summer was God. It wasn't her. It's like they'll believe that there's some superpower, but they won't yeah. believe that Jesus died on the cross for us. So you, you just know? pray for them. Like, you know, I didn't, I didn't tell her I went to VBS. I didn't tell her they memorized the, the, the Our Father. I just didn't tell her. It's my house. I don't have to tell her. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling her, I'm the adult here. You're the mama. <laughs> and it's like, how many kids do you know where if the parents don't believe, then the children follow yeah, that's suit. Hard. That's right. They don't believe either because mommy doesn't believe, daddy doesn't believe. I know. I'm sending them home to them. You know? I mean, the I mean, father wants to take them to a vampire movie. A big role in a lot but of people you can pray in jail. That's right. That's right. The spirit helps guide them through That's right. All that's right. <laughs> that's right. Grandmothers and grandfathers have a big influence that's on right. their kids if they want it. And kids remember that. Yeah, I know so, I made an imprint on these kids. They had to pick up after them. I mean, we fought the first few weeks. So you ain't leaving a mess here. Ain't no, ain't no maid here. It's me. Yeah. You know? Good for you. Well, I can't do it. There's three of them. Danica wears clothes once. And then she, oh, I don't like this. And then it's in the wash. I said, you're leaving with it. So now I'm making them hang them up. They're putting them in the dryers. They broke my dishwasher, so if you don't have any repairmen, <laughs> but that's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay. They had to wash dishes. <laughs> well, they're probably learning hey, quite a bit. That's how I. Summer. That's how I was raised. I didn't have a dad. We had to do chores. <laughs> yeah. Not more with kids doing chores. Okay, and he, he doesn't. He never leaves home that he doesn't come and hug me. And when he returns, the first thing he does when he walks through that door, he comes in today. He come in, hug me. He says. Oh, you don't have the bag anymore. I said, yeah, that's good. <laughs> but he's, and when I got home from the hospital, he was the first and only one, well, Jacob, Jacob helped, but, uh, but Caden jumped right on it, put his Praise arm God. right out for me to walk in the house. Well, I mean, they've been good too, and Ayana Teresa, she makes them do chores. They have to do, that. now the father, he doesn't. So, it's not their fault. Get some anyway. Yeah. I keep preaching. Well, our time is about up. <laughs> yeah. We did a few okay. We did hard. We did two verses. Two verses. <laughs> three. 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 Didn't we get three? Four, oh, five, okay. and three. six. Four, five, and six. Okay. So you have four. Four. You have four. Three verses. <laughs>
<laughs> I haven't told you, you call me, you text me. I haven't talked to adults. Oh. <laughs> I've been sneaking you calls. You said the grandparents have a big influence. They yes, do. they do. I, from the time he was born, was reading Bible stories to him and playing Good. Bible music in the car. Mm -hmm. so, they may not show it for years, but it comes back to them yes. later in life. When, when the chips are down, that's when they start thinking back. Yeah. I've, I've heard testimonies of people that I heard testimony of a man who got saved on his deathbed uh, when he was dying all he could remember was the song in Sunday school Jesus loves me yeah. mm -hmm. and he started singing that mm -hmm. yes and it, he ended up surviving and he was bleeding to death he ended up surviving and he got saved oh, wow. um, so those little things that we do for our kids, yes, can, yeah. God can use that. Yes, and those are seeds that are planted. Even when I was as a counselor, you don't know how many grandmother stories I heard. Yeah. My grandmother helped me so much. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah I agree. Let's make sure we have good stories for our kids. Amen. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I love them. Uh, I love them. Oh, you crazy. All right, let's close in prayer. I'm trying to remember we left off verse 7. Verse 7. <laughs> Sister Rebecca, would you do us the honors? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather, to study your word, to share, and to influence each other and support each other and encourage each other. Um, we are very blessed to be able to meet and to gather in your name without the threat that so many others and other nations do face, and we are very thankful for that divine provision, Lord. Um, sometimes it's easy to forget some of the, the biggest blessings that we have when they are just, we were born into them. So we thank you for that, Lord, and we pray that we do not lose that. Um, we pray for our nation who, we, we pray for, for the sinful nation that we live in, and we pray for all of the sins that have not been stopped up till this time, that, that were maybe not spoken up against loud enough before our time, and now we are seeing the results of that. And please give us the strength to fight hard and be strong and not be afraid to voice against what we know, God, is against your word. Uh, be with us this week and give us strength um, when we feel tired, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Ha, <laughs>